Right, we have come a long way. We started the workflow. We understood how to trigger a particular workflow using the uh, branches triggered, and then we created a bunch of steps. Now, this was for one of the first step, uh, one of the first stage uh, underneath the jobs. You could have multiple stages underneath the jobs. All right. However, we just had one job which was built and everything was pushed inside this particular job. If you look at over here, there's just one job. However, in an actual environment, you would create multiple stages. You just can't have one stage for all of your tasks, right? You would have your first build, then test, uh, then vulnerability check, then deploy to dev and vice versa to other environment also. How do you segregate them? Now let's try to understand in this session, how do you segregate this? So first of all, you start off with right over here, let's suppose the first step was to run the hello world, right? And the second step over here, make sure the identification is right, all right? The second step could be under the same build step, which would be get the files, that's one of my task in actual environment you would not have this simple task and then you would have uh, needs which would uh, which would which which would be then uh, which particular agent it is gonna run on so it's gonna run underneath on the Ubuntu latest you could have multiple over here all right you could have Windows you could have Linux you could have uh, Mac OS as well all right that's about it and once this is done you could start uh, getting on to the next as well so once this is done I could have all the steps underneath it like I had it over here so I'm gonna create a step as well so just gonna give it a name as steps and then start all my task underneath the step okay this was my third and then I just could minimize this one and then I can have my fourth task right over here. Okay, so underneath I'm just gonna copy this, and I am gonna paste in right over here, and make sure the identification is right. It should be on the same identification as the above which it is not so I'm just gonna rectify it and if you look at over here it says that there are duplicates being generated so what I'm gonna do is this task would be for get the multi-line task alright that's about it and I'm gonna make sure that my run task is right beneath the run which we have over here and same goes with steps as well. Once you are happy, you can just start pushing it. That's gonna be git add, git commit, give it a new commit name, which is multi-staged and git push. And once we are happy, make sure that identification is right, come back to your action and see if the changes are propagated as you can see all the changes are now propagated you had only single uh, task before this however you have now multitask bill get the files uh, multi stages underneath the same job uh, which is uh, uh, w which is the job title given right over here now one thing you would notice that all of them are running in parallel I want to break them down into separate tasks, all right? How do you do that? I want first to build to run. Then if it's successful, then only run to get the files. And then it's successful, then only get the, uh, get the uh, run to get the multi-line task, all right? How do you do it? So if you come back into your IDE, and if you look at over here, underneath the get the files, you could use something called as needs. And what you could do inside the needs, you could mention the previous step that it, this particular task needs the previous one. And now if you could just push again, you would see the magic get push. Once this is pushed, let's come back to our 
github action if you look at over here you would see that these two are running parallelly however this can run only after this one because this one doesn't have any dependencies now if you come back again what you could also do is you could underneath this you could say that i need both the above task which is build and get the files get the files now if you push it get add get commit get push and come back to the terminal you would see that this is how it is running it is running in a multi-stage at first it's going to build it then it's going to get the files then it is going to run the get task you could you could do certain dependencies like uh, if this one is not dependent on this one what you could also do is you could come back to your get the multitask remove this one over here it is only dependent on build push it again and see how it kind of looks like visually visually looks uh, pretty appealing nothing fancy but looks pretty appealing now if you look at over here this is how it looks like so this one is not dependent on this one rather uh, it, it can run parallelly with the get the files so yeah this is how you could create multi-staged workflow wherein you had you would like first task to run and then if only if it's successful move on to the next one go ahead and try this on your environment as well and i hope this session was informative thank you